My name is Paul, um, a virtual assistant coach and an agency owner. I specialize in lead generation, marketing automation, and client acquisition skills. So, marami na mga sujante na tinulungan ko mga client and uh, they are also doing internship as well under my agency. So, yun, uh, topic for today, guys, would be, ano, working hours. Kasi, daghan kayo ng utana, guys, kung usa ba, like, pausa ba ang working hours um, sa pag-freelancing or pagiging virtual assistant. So, guys, sa, sa, sa comment section, guys, pwede ta magbisaya dira. Pwede ta magchabakaan nyo kasi I was born and raised in San Juan City. Bisaya kung dako at my parents are bisaya. bisaya. So, pwede ta magbisaya Tagalog. So, no. Pero kani, uh, bisaya ta Tagalog sa akong, sa akong video, guys, para dagan makasabot and daming reach sa ating video. And then also, comment down below kung saang lugar ka ngayon, saang city, para at least malaman ko kung saan napapadpad tong video na to. Kasi currently, I'm staying in Thailand right now for three months now. So yeah, topic is working hours. Again, um, this is, depende sa'yo guys, if ano yung gusto mo, mag, mag, kung mag-work ka part-time or full-time. Kasi sa part-time guys, meron 10 to 20 hours a week. Pag uh, full-time naman, meron ding 40 hours a week or like 8 hours a day. Pero may, if may existing job ka, I and mean, then you want to do uh, freelancing, then you can do part-time sa gabi. Kasi mostly yung client natin is nasa labas, USA, then it's gonna be graveyard ship. So, sa 10 to 20 hours na yan, nakadepende yan if uh, project-based, if may papagawa sa iyo like photo editing. Basically, ang virtual assistant is like online secretary siya. So, yun. Uh, madali lang. Kasi bibigyan ka ng task ni client. Kung maun maunawaan mo yung, yung ipapagawa sa iyo, then yeah, that's, a, that's it. So yun lang. If you like this video guys, comment down below kung ano yung next topic na gusto nyo. And see you on my next video. Bye for now.